Hello, Schmoville. Well, it's another movie from Jason Reitman. This one is called Men, Women, and Children, and it is another movie of his based off a novel. Jason Reitman has been one of my favorite directors, or at least one of my most anticipated directors. Every time this guy's got a movie come out, I get excited, mainly from Juno and Up in the Air fame. Mm -hmm. And then he had The Young Adult, which I really liked, and then that one with Josh Brolin making pies was in the So is this going to be a return to form? Kind of. You sure. think so? Yeah, here's what he's great at, and it really shows in this movie. He can get a performance out of an actor unlike any other director I've ever seen, particularly somebody like an Adam Sandler, who you see him in these silly comedies that he makes with his buddies, and you're like, yeah, what, Jack and Jill? Really? Grown Ups too? Really? And then you see Adam Sandler in this, and you're like, that dude can really act. Adam Sandler needs to do more roles like this, the dramatic roles. He's really good at this stuff. Every time he plays a dramatic role... He's always good, and I agree with you. He should be able to do more of this stuff. The problem that I have with Jason Reitman right now is that I don't feel that this movie is for a general audience, even though it has a big... Well, it's big called movie. Men, Women, and Children. But I, Exactly. There's a movie that came out not too long ago, long ago called Disconnect with Jason Bateman. It was a smaller movie, mm -hmm. and I felt this was the... Not the better of the two. This felt like that movie Palo Alto that we saw last yeah. year, where it's it, you going into it, you're like, oh, this is going to have a really good story. And then it's just kind of this slice of life minus the carbs. There's just not a lot to this story. It just, Some stuff happens, and it revolves around social media. You see a lot of shots of a satellite in outer space reminding us how small we are, mm -hmm. yet we're these humans that have these various problems in any phase of life you're in. Like Adam Sandler plays a dad who's in the suburbs who's addicted to online porn. You have other kids who text way too much or who get too involved in a video game and not involved in real life and all these things are coalescing in one small town. This movie, to me, it just sets up the characters really well, but then when you want the that story to grip you and go, okay, where's the beginning, where's the end? It doesn't do that. It just keeps kind of going on and I guess that's the point with life, but it just wasn't there for me. I didn't catch it. Good to see Breaking Bad's Dean Norris on the big screen. He's fantastic in a smaller role. And nobody's uh, the, the overwhelming star of this film. Yeah, Jennifer Garner. Uh, Jane, is it Grievy? Something like that. She's uh -huh. always really good. Um, so Ansel Agord. Ansel Agord is really good. Look, hey, there's not a bad performance in this movie. Judy Greer, you're thinking. Judy about. Greer, that's where I was going for. Jane <laughs> Green. Jane Greevy? I don't know. Sorry, right. Jane Grievy's in this movie also. <laughs> this movie's about people up. who are all over social media. It looks like I need to log on to the su Information Superhighway for yeah. the first time. Jason Reitman is a very, very good director. I just think that maybe he kind of lost his way a little bit in this one because maybe it's a movie, the story that he wanted to tell that he told to himself and probably really liked the version of it, and that's great, but I think he's going to lose a lot of the audience. I think that once you get past a certain moment of this film, you're just uh -oh. like... Where uh -oh, are it. we going? I oh, can't where go are we fresh. going, Christian? I can't go fresh. 2.8 out of 5 schmoes. I, I just couldn't get there because I was just, by the end of it, I didn't care anymore. I cared enough simply because the performances were that tremendous. I'm going to go 3.1 out of 5 schmoes for, what was the name of this movie? Yeah, see? It's okay Men, women, and children. You know what I mean? It, it's not Josh Brolin making pies as a convict. Fresh movie in this guy's eyes. All right, Schmoville, how about you guys? Is this one of the ones that you're going to check out this weekend, men, women, and children, or are you going to see something else? Comment in Schmoville and tell us what you think. And make sure you guys check out the live show, Schmoes No Movie Show, every Thursday on our website, schmoesno.com, 6 to 8 p.m., P, S, and a T. Why don't you do yourselves a favor and hit that subscribe button, if you haven't already, of course. Thanks. I'll tell you what this movie will do. Hmm. Anyone who has kids, you will put the, a chain on their leg, uh, and you will not let them out of the house. You don't want to, don't get them a phone. It's, it's, it's... It's really just like you don't know what they're doing out there. I know, I just turned 60.